Good afton, Ali Hoopa. Please welcome on the drums, Kyle Poole. On the bass, that's Philip Norris.
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, someone warned me that the, that the uh, Swedish audience wouldn't be so enthusiastic, but you guys have already proved it wrong. So. <laughs> you know, we, we, we like clapping in unexpected places because uh, this music is all about the unexpected. Um, Thank you for being here. It's our very first time in Stockholm, um, and we're loving every minute of it. And uh, we couldn't ask for a better um, first sailing than, than this place. This is one of the most beautiful halls, the most beautiful pianos. And uh, I know there's a lot of history here, and we're happy to be a small part of that now. On the drums from Los Angeles, California, he uh, has been in New York for about 12 years, and he's absolutely tired of it. <laughs> Every time we come to Europe, he say, I'm going to move to Europe. Um, I'm hoping not, but, but if it's best for him, I want what's best for him. But, you know, 
we do play in Europe a lot, so we'll we'll still get to play together a bunch. Uh, but uh, he was the pride and joy of, of of New York City on drums for many years, hosting a jam session at Small's Jazz Club. That's where we met when uh, Kyle was 18 years old, and he was got a big smile on his face, playing all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and um, just like uh, you know, bringing people into the music just attracting people, making people love jazz, uh, making people love improvised music. And uh, you know, his spirit and his soul is, is very big and he continues to welcome people into this music everywhere we go. And uh, it's a great joy and pleasure. We've been playing together for almost a decade. That's Mr. Kyle Poole. <laughs> On the bass violin, uh, a newer member um, to New York City, to, to this band, uh, but fits right like a glove. And uh, he just finished about five years at the Juilliard School of Music, getting two degrees, um, so you know he's legit. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't need any, he doesn't need any, any, any validation. It's all in his hands and his heart. Um, he's. Uh, rising to the top of the, of the New York City bass uh, market right now, and everyone's calling him like, hey, can you come on tour, can you come on this? And he's like the busiest guy I know, going from this tour to another tour to another tour, uh, and that's because he's figured out how to play this thing and make everyone sound better. And that's a very difficult thing to do um, as, as a musician, is to let your ego go and figure out what the situation needs, just the right amount to make everyone sound their best. And uh, it's something that he's got a natural talent for. And you'll see tonight, and you'll hopefully see for many years, the great talent. That's Mr. Phil Norris. <laughs> We're going to play a couple of original compositions. Uh, the first one is called Future Stride, the title of our last record, not the most current one, but before that. Uh, I wrote that, co-wrote that with Kyle Poole on, on, on drums here. And uh, then we're going to play something um, from Harlem, basically, that I wrote up there. This is uh, that's entitled Spill in the Tea. So uh, we hope you enjoy these. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Future Stride. This next one, uh, something I wrote during the pandemic, uh, and it's a piece born out of the Harlem Stride tradition uh, only 100 years later. So for those of you who have checked us out on the internet, um, <laughs> we'd have a show uh, called Emmett's Place. And basic, basically what it was, thank you. Basically what it is is a Harlem rent party um, in the Roaring Twenties, which we're in now, uh, 100 years later from the Harlem rent parties of 100 years ago, uh, where Fats Waller and James P. Johnson and Willie Lyon Smith and Art Tatum and Mary Lou Williams and even Thelonious Monk uh, would play um, when everything else was shut down. And uh, we had a shutdown. We played in our house in Harlem in the same neighborhood, invited everyone in the world in, and um, we were able to find a lot of common ground uh, between people all over the world. And uh, it was an amazing um, thing that kept us going um, spiritually and also financially. <laughs> you know, it's a rent party, so afterwards you pass the hat and, you know, people used to swoosh, is that what you call it here? No. <laughs> they were like, how are we going to take money for the CDs? Do you use this? And I said, oh, I don't know what that is, but um, now I do. Uh, anyway, this is something I wrote in that time that uh, has to do with all that. It's called Spilling the Tea.
Kyle Poole. That was called Spilling the Tea, <laughs> we, which in American dialect means saying the gossip, you know, giving up the gossip. Um, on bass, that's Mr. Philip Norris. <laughs> We're gonna feature Phil on a beautiful ballad. This is called Love is a Many Splendored Thing.
Beautiful. Phil Norris on the bass.
We're going to play something that uh, one of our heroes, his name was Barry Harris. And um, Barry was not only one of the greatest bebop musicians, like he lived in the house of Thelonious Monk um, in New Jersey. I'm actually from New Jersey, too. Um, and Barry, would, he would always play stuff that the people could feel. And when he wasn't performing, he was teaching nonstop all the time. Uh, just wanted to make the world full of jazz and full of bebop. And, uh, and he could like bebopify any tune. And uh, he, he used to play, we used to go see him and he used to play this one.
Thank you very much. That was from the musical Oliver, entitled Where is Love? Um, we're going to feature our drummer now at this time, Mr. Kyle Poole. This is something I believe was written by Oscar Peterson called Thag's Dance.
Thank you all very much. Wow, thank you so much. I couldn't have uh, wished for a, a better atmosphere, better reception here in Stockholm for the first time. Uh, this is definitely, hopefully, the, the, the beginning of many journeys here over the years. Um, yeah. You know, this is a special place, too, because a lot of the, the, the great master musicians from New York like to live in Stockholm. Um, in particular, uh, we have one mentor. His name is Albert Tootie Heath, and he lived here uh, in the 60s, and um, he loved it. Had a family here and everything, and uh, he's, he always talks about it fondly, and uh, we know that uh, the places that the musicians of the 60s, the jazz musicians of the 60s, chose to go um, the, the listener's ears developed faster than other places. Um, and, and so, yeah, I'm complimenting you. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's, you know, we feel it in the, in the fabric of, of the culture. Um, you know, you, everywhere you go, there's jazz playing on, in, in every store and every hotel and everything, you know. And it's the little things like that that, that, uh, that you notice as a, as a traveling musician. You know, we go a lot of places in the world. And um, especially, you know, nowadays we, we have come to notice that, you know, people always ask, well, what's it like playing for this audience? Or how's the audience in such and such? That's one of the FAQ, the frequently asked questions. And uh, <clears throat> I always think that, that really the people that come to see this music and love this music and want it as a part of their lives, they all are the same everywhere. Uh, no matter where, where in the world you are, what continent, um, this, this music uh, finds common ground between everyone. Uh, this is about flexibility, <clears throat> it's about improvisation, it's about speaking a language, communicating with others, um, taking what's thrown at you and, and doing the best you can with it. And um, you know that's what makes it special also that every time there's a concert, it's, it's a unique experience. You know, we, we don't know what, what, what's gonna happen up here. And instead of trying to control it, we try to embrace the unknown. And, uh, and, and it becomes about that moment. Um, and, and what we shared tonight uh, was a very special moment and one I, I won't forget in my life. And uh, you know, it's, it's, it's moments like those that, that keep us going for a long time and inspire us and our artistry and hopefully inspire you in, in, in whatever you do as well. And uh, you know, one, one last thing is that this music uh, has always been a vehicle for, for the good in the world. And I think that uh, we, we, we use it, we travel and we use this music and, and these concerts to, to promote values like diversity, like inclusion, compassion, love, most importantly, peace. And uh, that's what it's about. <laughs> And so we, uh, we're so glad you joined us tonight. And we want to thank one more time on the bass, one of the great young basses of our time. That's Mr. Philip Norris. <laughs> on the drums, the spectacular Mr. Kyle Poole. this moment so thank you very much we appreciate it and we'll see you next time boys goes one more
Philip Norris, Kyle Poole. Y'all want to hear one more? 